so hey you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome I'm Plains and you guys in this video I'm going to show you this beautiful very requested ombre marble fall inspired nail design but before you go ahead and watch this video go on my social media accounts show me some love and let's dive right into it okay you guys so I'm starting off using one of my favorite bits I'm using our oval tornado bit this is a bit that I use in every set that I do a refill I always use this bit to get all the old acrylic off and as you can see see how fast I get that old acrylic off you guys this is just my best friend <laughs> I just really love it and as promised you guys I have my favorite bits on my website online go ahead check yours out and they are going fast they are going pretty fast so yeah go ahead and check it out I'm filing it down and also getting the lifting off using this um, oval tornado bit and you guys I know I know that I didn't post lately and I'm always saying that to you guys that I'm going to post more frequently but I am so busy you guys I work like seven days a week and like whole day all day long doing nails making packages uh, uh, giving classes you guys so it's been really busy so today I had a day off and I decided to edit this video I have like five videos that I've recorded but I didn't edit yet but I, I thought you know I need to record and edit this video for you guys so yeah this is actually a very requested video so I thought I'm going to make a video for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to check our products out on our web shop I will put the link for you guys in the description box below now I'm going ahead and pushing back the cuticles make sure you do this gently um, because some clients can be um, more uh, how do you say that um, uh, <laughs> some clients can feel it more than other clients so make sure you do this gently so your clients don't feel pain because you don't want to hurt your clients and now I'm using our uh, cuticle diamond bit um, to this um, this bit is actually to push back the cuticles and as you can see also to get the dead skin around the cuticle off and this is also very important to prevent any lifting and you guys I think it's so satisfying I just love this step So next I'm cutting off the dead skin around the cuticle I'm using this a scissor cuticle scissor I will put a link for you guys in the description box below it's a very sharp and thin scissor but it's just just the best it will save your life <laughs> it's so easy to use and I will just link it in the description box below for you guys So this was actually a set that she had on for like eight weeks so that's why she have a broken nail um, my next step is I'm using our mandrill you see that little cute diamond I love it <laughs> and our purple sanding bands these sanding bands are so pretty and they also don't really hurt or I mean they don't really um, burn that easily as the normal ones that's why I love them so much go ahead check them out they are also available on my website and I'm getting the uh, natural shine of the natural nail um, using this sanding band. It's uh, actually a number 240 um, because you don't want to um, damage the natural nail too much. And I also use it to down the length a little bit uh, to make the nail shorter. So next I'm using our C-curve extra long nail tips, square nail tips, these are the natural, we also have uh, clear ones and also stiletto ones, natural color and also clear ones, um, I will also link it 
in the description box below for you guys now I'm measuring it to make sure they are the same length and I'm filing it a little bit with my hand file before blending and when I'm done doing that I'm going to blend it with our sanding band that we used to get the natural shine from the natural nail um, and yeah Okay guys, so next I'm using our nail prep and our primer to prep the nails. I'm so sorry you guys, our nail prep is actually um, at, out of stock at the moment. I don't know why everything has delayed. But yeah, I'm also using our professional acrylic liquid. And because it's getting colder now, the setting time is almost the same as the starter one. The starter acrylic liquid is also out of stock. I'm so sorry once again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just applying a thin layer of clear acrylic on the natural nail to protect the natural nail and also to prevent any lifting. Okay, so next I'm using our new acrylic colors. I'm using our uh, sunflower, our red, that's our Betty Boop, and also our orange one, that's our pumpkin. And make sure you work in small amounts of acrylic and a really wet consistency so you can also blend them and, and also marble them at the same time if you know what I'm saying <laughs> so to make the marble you really have to work in small sections and because you don't want the nails to be too thick because you also have to make the ombre using your cover pink or any cover color that you're using and also you have to encapsulate it with clear acrylic so the colored marble ombre that you're using on the free edge you can't make it too thick so make sure you work in small sections with a small amount of acrylic and wet so you can marble them and also ombre the colors so the ombre will be more uh, um, how do you say that so that the ombre is more blended um, before you are going to blend it again with your cover color <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm saying so you can put the acrylic like a straight line on the free edge and then make the ombre with the cover color you have to blend the um, colors into the nail bed so it blends nicer so yeah, that's what I'm doing on all the nails and when I'm done doing that, I'm going in with my pink pearl um, to make the, or I mean to finish off the ombre nail and then I will encapsulate the whole nail with our crystal clear. So this is how it looks after applying the colored acrylics. Now I'm going in with my pink pearl to make the ombre effect. And you guys, I always have a lot of questions about my um, brush. You guys, finally, our acrylic brushes will be online next week. So uh, if you are not following me on Instagram yet, go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you know when the brushes will be online you guys and believe me they are going fast I can guarantee that <laughs> so yeah you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you are not following me following me yet so you can go and grab yours
so next I'm using our crystal small barrel I'm using our fine uh, grit to smooth down the nails and also to shape the nails So if you're still watching but not subscribed yet, go ahead, I don't know what you're reading, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, comment a, a red hearted emoji in the comment section below so I know that you're still here watching, filing and shaping with me. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm using our cuticle carbide bit to clean up the cuticle area so when the nail grows out it just, you know, looks more prettier and it looks more flatter at the cuticle area um, it, without having a bulky outgrowth. Okay, so next I'm going in with my hand file to shape the nails and make them sharp and perfect. This is just my favorite part. I just love some sharp and crisp nails. My next step is using our sanding juice which is actually uh, just basically 70% alcohol with a, a delicious smell. <laughs> I'm using my banana flavor and I'm just spraying it and using a little manicure brush to clean all the small little dust from the nails. So when we are going to apply our glossy top coat you won't see any little dust in your top coat because I just, oh no, I just hate it when I can see like little spots on my top coat. So I'm using our glossy, glossy top coat, our best seller, you guys. I'm topping it off with our glossy top coat and when I'm done, I'm going to cure it for like 60 seconds under my lamp.
okay so after curing the nails this is the final result you guys I'm so 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 in love with these nails it gave me also like a fiery vibes <laughs> love this nail design you guys I really hope you have liked this video as much as I did if you have liked this video give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you like this kind of nail designs and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and yeah thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye bye